Hello. Um, I just want to introduce myself. I'm David Hossack. Um, and um, what I've been working on is a risk v without a register file. Um, as you know, the risk v ISO, uh, it's a few years old now, but has um, 30, 31 registers, each of 32 bits. It's the 32-bit version of the risk v plus program counter. So in total, that's 128 bytes of state, um, which, you know, um, to some people might seem like a lot, seem like, um, you know, if you're thinking in the past. Um, so taking inspiration from 6502, uh, which has this concept of zero page memory, um, which could be um, the, f the first 256 bytes of, of addressable memory, um, had um, shortened instructions that you could use to access them. Effectively, they'll kind of like registers, and that was um, designed that way, intended to be that way. Um, so my idea is just to combine those two concepts, risk five plus that, um, by taking the register file and taking it out, memory mapping it basically. Um, so to do that, I've um, written a purely combinatorial logic um, version of the risk five. That was a lot of fun. It worked. It's easy. Um, just factor out all the state. I uh, got that running with um, the formal um, risk five formal. Uh, that's great. Um, make some of the ports um, handshaked. Um, with you know, ready valid signals um, using, I think this is fairly well understood, handshaking type protocols. Um, it helps you isolate um, um, you know, the state and functionality between blocks. It's good for composability. Um, and then my idea is just to stick an arbiter in there um, to, to um, connect to the memory. Um, so you, you, the memory is you know, you, a, a typical instruction, you know, like a read or something, or a, an add we'll, we'll um, do a memory read for the first argument, a memory read for the second argument, do the, do the operation and then write back to the memory. Um, so it's quite memory intensive. Um, it's going back in time. Um, and this has some um, interesting um, you know, consequences because when you go into the next instruction, you know, maybe you've already got um, the, um, the register values, in, in it's kind of like a cache. So you're effectively having a tiny cache of two or three um, register values. Um, so you can actually save some of those memory accesses. Um, and anyway, that's what I'm, I'm um, doing. Um, but my, my real goal was actually the methodology behind this rather than the end product. I'm interested in like, you know, better composability. <coughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> 